everyone, it's Cleo here, and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing some brand new LPS. And here they all are, there's so many new pets! And yes, I know this is a slightly older line of Littlest Pet Shop's pre-complete reboot, but I was super surprised to see this in the UK at all because I think this is only the second set in this line I've ever found in any of the shops, and I go out to a lot of different shops! So I was super surprised, I did find this at Smith's for £15, and they had the other set with the red panda and the giraffe, but I wanted them on the dogs and cats most. Anyway, in the corner here we have some of the other cute little pets to collect. I love that little lemur and frog, they are so adorable. This apparently is the Sweet Sort collection, and even comes with a special pet, who is the very lovely fuzzy Mingly Fluff Tail, who's even got little cat accessories printed around it, that's really cute. There's some little pictures of the toys down the side here. On the other side here there's a picture of a whole load of different ones. And on the back we have photographs of all 11 of them in great detail, including some other sets you can collect on the side. You see all of these pets down the side here? I saw most of them in France, but not any of them in the UK. Anywhere. In the summertime of France they had all of them, apart from that koala, I still can't find that anywhere. And the rest of them were pretty easily found in every supermarket, but not here in the UK. I've no idea why. Anyway, I am just dying to open this box, so let's go ahead and do it. She is just completely jammed in here. Oh my god, that was hard. Hard. I don't know how I'm going to get them all out. This one is just jammed. I don't know how I can get it out. Okay, I can't even open this on camera anymore. I'm struggling too much. You know, I have opened a lot of toys on this channel, but this little guy was the hardest thing to get out of the packaging of anything I've ever opened, and that is really saying something. My god! Breaking into the Secret Service is easier than breaking into that box. Okay, so before looking at all the toys, I wanted to show you the pamphlet. Obviously along here they're showing lots of the other pets you can collect, all very nice and well. On the other side here we have the beautiful rainbow pets, but that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about this picture here. Now I noticed a few differences in these pets to the actual rainbow ones they released. If you see here, you can see there's an orange glittery dachshund there, which they've never actually released. And then you see here there's a glittery yellow cat which they also never released. And then over here, they have a glittery blue elephant, which they also never released. It looks like they were some kind of prototype for these rainbow ones here. As you can see, they did make an orange dog and a yellow cat. But then what's the explanation for these ones? Where are they supposed to be? Because look, you see they're lined up with the ones they did release, including the koala and the frog. So it looks like they were going to make these ones and then change their minds, doesn't it? Now, if anybody could ever get their hands on these, I should think they would be super, super rare, unless I'm mistaken, but I'm pretty sure they were not officially released, those pets. So as far as I know, those are complete mystery pets. And here's the whole set, finally out of the box. First of all, let's take a look at this all-new Collie. She's a really pretty warm, sandy colour, with a cream gradient going up her face and down her paws here. She's got some cream fur on her chest here, and a little bit on the end of her tail. She's got pretty icy blue eyes, and this cute little ear that falls down. I think she looks quite adorable, but let's compare her to the older Collie. Just ignore the big difference in colour. There are probably just as many similarities as there are differences here. For example, there's still the three little spikes of fur down the sides of its face. This folded down ear looks pretty much the same. We can also see where the old one has a more complete little snout going on, this one seems to have kind of a receding chin going on, and its head is generally more spherical. I think the pose the new one is in is very cute, but it's a lot thinner and less furry looking, which perhaps isn't exactly what you want for such a hairy dog as a collie. The eyes are a lot larger, and generally the body is less textured to look furry. Overall, I do prefer the older one, but I will say this mould is actually not all that new. This pet is, but this mould's been around since the Pets in the City line, I believe, or perhaps even longer, so it's really just a reuse of a mould, typical of Hasbro. I do prefer the newer moulds than the Pets in the City ones. These ones are... the heads just kind of look balloon-like to me, it doesn't look quite right. Next up we have a very cute mini LPS. This one's a white kitten with a grey gradient going up its tail and down its little ears. 
Its eyes are a very pretty aqua colour and it's got a teeny weeny pink nose. Its head doesn't have a bobble in it, but it can turn from side to side. I think this pose is very cute, but once again, it is a reuse of an older Pits in the City generation mold. It's not new, which is a little bit disappointing, but it's still cute. Next up, we have this absolutely tiny guinea pig. I think this one's really cute. It is, in fact, a new mold, but it's just too small. These teensies are so tiny. Look, there's my thumbnail. It's the size of a thumbnail. He's so small that his head doesn't even turn. How easily would he be lost? I love the sandy color of him. He's got lovely green eyes and adorable little pink nose, but he's just too small for my liking. I like everything else about him. He's really cute. Next up, we have a full-sized rabbit. She's really cute. She's a lovely buttermilk color. With a very cute candy pink fringe up here. Some more candy pink fur down her chest. A tail in the same color. And the same color in her ears. She's got a very bright pair of blue eyes, a little pink nose. And she's in a really sweet little pose sitting down. She's a full-size pet, so of course her head does have a nice bobble in it. But, like all the newer pets, it does a 360 all the way around. Which I don't really care for. It means it's kind of hard to grip them without their heads going like that. I think she is very, very cute though. However, I do have one problem with her. Once again, she's not a new mold. She's just a repaint of an old Pets in the City mold, which is a little bit of a shame. I don't like it when they reuse all the molds. I like the newer ones best because once again, her head has that kind of receding chin look, which I'm not so keen on. Next up, we have this sweet little lamb. This LPS looks like a big cloud to me. It's so fluffy looking. It's a lovely cornflower blue color with a buttermilk color on its face and around its little feet. It's got chocolate brown eyes and a bright pink nose. And though its head doesn't have a bobble, because it's a mini pet, its head can turn from side to side. I think this pet is very adorable, but once again, it is a mold reuse of another old pet, which seems a little bit of a shame, cute as it is. Next up, we have another one of those absolutely minute teensy pets. I think it's just too small. This one appears to be some kind of little Maltese dog. It's a very nice light grey colour with violet eyes, and it's just too small to do anything with. Look at him, he's just tiny. He won't even stand up that easily, his head won't turn, and he's just too small for my liking. I wish at least it was a mini, the teensies are too small. They put all this effort into designing new moulds, but it's something so small that my camera will scarcely focus on it. Next up we have my very favourite one from the set, which is the Tibetan Mastiff. This is the very first time the Tibetan Mastiff has been made into an LPS, and I just love it! So adorable! It's a gorgeous chocolatey brown colour. With a lighter beige gradient going up its nose down its adorable little paws, and it's got a bit of caramel colour fur going down its chest here too. As the Tibetan Mastiff is such a furry dog, its head is covered in all sorts of furry detail, around the back and also around the front, which is lovely. It's got an adorable little wrinkle around its nose, which really adds something for me. It's got really pretty olive green eyes and a kind of shy looking design, which is so adorable. Look how bashful she looks. It's so, so cute. She just looks so sweet and so furry and kind, and I love her. I think I'm going to have to make her some kind of special character. She's one of my favourite pets ever. I think she's in the perfect pose, has a perfect little face, and the only two problems with her is that the head also does that 360 thing, but luckily the tail does block it a bit. And the head is really heavy, so you have to be careful that she doesn't just fall over like that. But other than that, I think she's pretty perfect. So, so precious. Look at her little face. Next up, we have another little mini pet, which is an adorable little bear. It's so cute. This bear is a very warm, kind of medium brown color with a light little marking around its nose and inside its ears. Its eyes are bright blue and enormous. Look at them, they're huge. It's in a cute little pose, one foot in front of the other. And because it's a mini pet, its head can turn from side to side pretty easily. Now, cute as this pet is, it is once again another reuse mold that is not new for this line of LPS, so that's a little disappointing. But its eyes do look so, so cute. Look at it. 
Next up we have another one of those way too small teensy pets. This one is a very cute little kitten with a lovely full tail and it's a very pretty lilac colour with bright blue eyes and a little brown nose. Now, as I've said, I do think they're too small for playing with, but I will say I think it's remarkable how good the printing is on something that's the size of a thumbnail. That's pretty amazing. However, I will say it looks pretty good for a toy for an LPS. It's so small it looks like it could be a little plushie on one of their beds, so that could be useful. Next up we have this adorable little Chow Chow. Next up we have this adorable little Chow Chow. which won't stand up very well. This pet is a lovely kind of pinkish beige colour with a slightly darker gradient going up its tail here and darker little bits on its ears. It's got a cream little muzzle with a brown nose, emerald green eyes and a very cute little tufts of fur around the sides of its face and on its chest here. Because it's a mini pet of course its head doesn't bobble but it can turn from side to side. Now even though I'm not as keen on the mini pets as I am on the full size pets, I still think this pet is a lot cuter than the original Chow Chows in G2. That really didn't do it for me. However, I would like to say this is once again another reuse mold. It's not new for this line of pets. Okay, last but not least we have the Maine Coon Cat. Now this mold is all new and I just love it. This pet is a gorgeous warm orange colour with darker stripes going down its head here, darker stripes here and darker fur around its chest. Its eyes are a really beautiful aqua blue colour, it's got a cute little orange nose and super fluffy looking ears, just look how adorable they are. It's got a lighter bit on the inside and it's got little points coming off at the ends and on the insides which just look lovely to me. It's got loads of furry details around the bottom of its face here which look really nice from the back too. And its tail is just awesome, look at it, it's huge and fluffy. The colours match the toy just perfectly and it's the softest fur you've ever felt. It's gorgeous and it flops around from side to side too. Oh I love that, it's so adorable. She looks like she'd be a princess or a pop star or something else important and rich, doesn't she? The tail is stripy and pretty much the size of its own head which I love because the real Maine Coon Cat famously has a huge tail. Now in my opinion this cat is like the improved version of the short haired cat mold from the previous generations. It's got lovely dainty little paws which match a feline very well, a short little nose, huge adorable eyes and it's just so much fluff sculpted and real. Once again the only problem I have with her is her head is so heavy that it, it kind of wobbles over easily. And it does that 360 thing, but luckily the tail mostly blocks it from doing that. So really it's, it's just the weight of the head that's a bit off. Now I nearly forgot to mention that all of these pets have special names assigned to them, which are Chow Chow Lion Puff, Freesia Fuzzy Face, Ursa Brown Bear, Mina Mastiff, Jazzberry Whiskers, Malta Lively, Rainy Ragley, Mainly Fluffy Tail, Guinea Whiskers, Cornflower Blue Wool and Vanilla Velveteers. And of course if you don't like those more outlandish names you can just call them Dave and Angela if you really want to but I quite like the weird names. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments which one of them was your favourite. It's really hard for me to choose but I think it might be Mina Mastiff. She's just so adorable. However Mainly Fluffy Tail is a very close second. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to lots of fun new videos every week. Thanks for watching!